Because the Feast of the Annunciation fell during Holy Week this year, it was transferred to today, the first available day after the solemn octave of Easter. We recall now the silent and obedient heart of Mary, which received the angel's word to her, and in receiving it, gave flesh to the Son of God. Hello, Father Kubicki here. Pope Benedict said, we are always struck by and made to reflect on the fact that this moment, crucial to humanity's destiny, the moment in which God was made man, is shrouded in deep silence. The encounter between the Divine Messenger and the Immaculate Virgin takes place completely unnoticed. Nobody knows, and nobody talks about it. It is an event which, were it to happen in our time, would leave no trace in the newspapers and magazines, because it is a mystery that happens in silence. What is truly great often goes unnoticed, and peaceful silence proves more fruitful than the frenetic restlessness characteristic of our cities. The pressure that makes us unable to be calm, to listen to the silence in which the Lord enables us to hear His discreet voice." End quote. So on this great feast, let's commit ourselves to maintaining some silence in our daily lives. Time for God. Let's commit ourselves as well to making sure that we may have obedient hearts where there is no obstacle to God's will. And let's close now with another thought from Pope Benedict, this time from his visit in 2009 to the very site of the Annunciation in Nazareth. Mary, on the day she received the announcement of the angel, was in deep recollection and at the same time open to listening to God. In her there was no obstacle, no screen, nothing that separated her from God.